Give you, I gotta get three of these right. Good morning, everybody. This is day two of rutcation. We're gonna be doing things a little different today. They're going for 50 mile per hour winds today. And I, I just don't know about being in the woods with wind whipping like that. Just real nervous about it. My plan was, I'm at the Big E property right now. I'm parked here watching a field. I just kind of figured, stay safe and uh, I can watch this field and uh, at least get a feel for what's happening around here. I don't have to really worry about getting hurt or anything like that. That's my plan. It's like, we got 45 minutes before it gets light, so it's going to be a while before anything uh, happens or we see anything, but I was not feeling comfortable sitting in a tree today or even being in the woods. I, of course, wasn't going to miss hunting, you know, or at least, you know, being able to see something happen. So that's my plan for right now. If we see bucks chasing through the field or something, probably going to change the plan quite a bit. But just, personally, I just figured this is going to be a whole lot safer than rocking around in a damn tree all freaking day. So my dad was brave enough. He's out in the woods. But and of course, it's only supposed to get worse, which sucks. But got to got to do things safe. Got to got to got to stay safe. So, I'm just going to hold tight. We're just going to kind of fly off the seat of our pants. See what happens out here. I think we got a hot doe on another property. There was like, I don't know, 3 3 or 4 bucks all coming through an area right around the same time. A lot of the time that would indicate that there is a hot doe in the area. I'm looking at the pictures right now and it looks like I'm going to put them up on the screen for you guys. A big, that's a buck I would shoot at 3. Another buck at 3.06. A couple minutes ago, a doe came through at 5.06. And she milled around for a little bit. So, I really think that there might be a, a hot doe down there. So, I'm going to keep my eyes on that. We can always take a run down there and go hunt down there. Worst case scenario, so. All right, I'm gonna stop jabbering. Let's see what happens today. As you guys can tell, it is still whipping out there. The truck has been rocking, believe it or not. So, I, I just, I can't believe how stinking windy it is. It sucks. This is gonna be the coldest morning that we have to hunt. I'm just worried about branches falling on me being in the woods especially where i'm at when when it gets windy it gets extra windy here for whatever reason it just always seems to go hand in hand so it's been a uh, legal shooting time here for about 10 minutes i haven't seen anything working the fields i imagine at some point i should get into the woods somewhere and actually do some hunting I was thinking about going to uh, the old nursery property and slipping into the ground blind. I don't even know if the ground blind's going to be there after this. The one good thing about, oh God. The one good thing about this wind is you know where your scent's going. It's all getting pushed really, really hard today. So I'm going to sit here probably for another hour. If we don't see anything... I think it might be a good idea to do some like road scouting, kind of like drive around, see what's moving, get a feel for uh, the areas we have to hunt. Oh, oh, there we go, there we go, here we go, here we go. Worth it, totally worth it. There goes four doe, five doe, six doe. Where's the buck? Come on, there's gotta be a buck coming. Something pushed them too. Oh. I would be absolutely shocked to not see a buck pushing these deer around. 
Something certainly did, because they were running when I first seen them. The old nursery property camera just went off. That is a tank of a buck. God damn. That thing is ridiculous. Golly. Should have went down there. Well, it looks like we're going to go try to make a run down to the old nursery property. Um, I think I'm going to use the crossbow, try to slip into that ground blind, and uh, do our best to not spook that buck. So that's the great thing about these cellular cameras. Being able to move on the fly like this. So, I'm going to leave my dad here. I'm going to go head down to the old nursery property. It's going to take like 20 minutes to get there, but it seems like there's a lot of bucks cruising down there, so I think it's going to be a good move. <clears throat> Just got down here to the old nursery property. Wind is perfect today. Out of the west. So when we walk our way in, deer shouldn't smell us, um, unless they're around the pond. So, camera hasn't gone off yet, again. So, hopefully we can slip into this ground blind undetected. Well, this is what I was afraid of. Ground blind got flipped overnight, it's on its side. So I gotta try to get this thing upright. Hopefully it doesn't keep blowing away. <sighs> Damn. spent the afternoon driving around other properties we can hunt didn't see any deer out chasing so I'm back here on the uh, old nursery property I have no idea where I'm going uh, I have another camera that I'd like to get to check uh, if there's good sign or good pictures on that camera we're gonna hunt there if not we're gonna go back over to the food plot and we're gonna hunt there for the evening and uh, tomorrow's another day. This wind absolutely sucks. Well, I just got to the camera right there. My SD card reader will not read the damn card. I even tried putting it inside of you guys. Won't read. I'm just gonna hunt. I'm just gonna go sit and hunt. Well, I just got into the stand <clears throat> an hour later since last time I talked to you guys. It's now one o'clock. I don't know what to expect for tonight. Cause I couldn't check that camera, so kinda just guessing I guess.
winds getting worse. Had a big log fall off of the tree out in right down there. It's just not worth it. As badly as I want to be out, it's not worth it. So I'm going home. I'll see you guys tomorrow.